Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and today I am sharing with you my second, I think, empties for 2020. Um, the first quarter I just did all of my empties all at once and then um, for, I think it was, well, I guess maybe this is all of Q2, I don't know. Um, so maybe this is, no, it's just April, May. Sorry, just kidding. Two months worth of empties. Um, I've got this whole thing is like overflowingly full. So I'm gonna sort everything out and then I will come right back to share with you what I finished off in April and in May. Okay guys, so first things first, I like to do my home fragrance stuff first. Um, and so I finished off Warmth. This is Fireside Comfort by Bath and Body Works. This is awesome. It's, um, the scent is Fireside Comfort. Like I said, it says rich vanilla, smoked leather, and cedarwood essential oil. Um, cedarwood and vanilla or sandalwood and vanilla is one of my favorite combos. So this was just really, really awesome. Very much enjoyed that. And then I also finished off Peppered Suede. And this one is technically a White Barn um, candle. And this one is nice too. Obviously much more masculine. Um, but these were both really, really nice. And um, both of them I would consider uh, purchasing again. Okay, the next thing I finished off was a ton of wax melts. So I've got a handful of the Sassy Girl Aroma customer sampler from April of 2018. You guys know that I've been working on these. So this one is Pink Chiffon Blackberry Birthday Cake. Um, and I have to say, I know these were two years old, but not very many of them gave me much throw at all. I've got some uh, melts that are older than two years that still give me decent throw. So I remember when I very first did my haul video on these that I they weren't very strong for me. And now warming them a couple years later, they're not very strong again. So this is, I know people love Sassy Girl, but this is not going to go on, you know, my list for companies uh, to repeat purchases for. Uh, next though, we are still working through what we've got. So we've got blueberry sugar cookie, blueberry sugar cookie dough, graham crackers, vanilla wafers, shortbread cookies, and birthday cake. I think that's seven different scents in there. And I've said it before, I don't see the point of doing seven different fragrance oils in one. I mean, this was a square like this big, guys. I don't see the point in that nobody's nose is sophisticated enough to pick out seven different fragrance oils, particularly not when they're already blended. So whatever, I'm not here to crap all over Sassy Girl. I just, I don't get it. Um, pineapple Coconut Cream Soda. This one was actually really nice. It was light, it was not a, a tremendous thrower, uh, but the scent was nice on that one. Then we have Sweet Lavender Salty Sea Air in Flannel Sheets. And I'm not a lavender fan, I've said that before, but I actually did enjoy that one more than I thought I would. One other thing that I wanna mention while we are talking about candle and wax empties is that I am going to do, at the end of the year, I will have my full year of uh, candle and wax melts empties. I'm not gonna do that with makeup, but I will um, I will do that with my wax. So I was able to finish off a bunch, a bunch of Scentsy this month. We've got one Huckleberry Sage here, and then I've actually got a second Huckleberry Sage. So one of these was a partial, and then I finished off a whole nother one. I did finish off a Caramel Pear Crisp. This one is nice, but way too sickly sweet and strong for my liking. Uh, then we've got Zeppelin. This one was really old, so it didn't have a great throw to it. Uh, and then Peppermint Dreams, which I have said before is my very favorite peppermint, but I don't think you can get it anymore. Also finished off birthday cake, which again was not a great thrower, but I don't get, I mean, sorry, not birthday cake. It's called happy birthday. Um, Sensi's version is happy birthday, but I have warmed many that have this same kind of note. It's a birthday cake note. 
um, or like a vanilla cake note, and I never get a strong throw out of them. So that's not just a Scentsy thing. Um, and then finally for the Scentsy, we finished off Central Park Pralines. I've got one of these in my basket for this month, and I think I think it's my last one, but I'm not totally for sure. That one I do really like. Um, it's best for fall and winter, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a go uh, for the spring and summer this time. Whoops, found another uh, Scentsy that I had missed. This one is in Happy Go Lucky. This is nice, it's a good thrower, but a little strong on the florals for me. And then I had two clamshells that were non scentsy This one was Strawberry Smoothie, and the brand is called Living Colors Candles. This was awful, it smelled like nothing, but I got it for three bucks at Big Lots, so I'm not terribly surprised about that. Um, this one, Wildberry Cheesecake, this was pretty great. This I actually mixed with that Happy Birthday, um, and that ended up being a really nice um, combo. All right, we've got two uh, hand soaps here. We've got raspberry tangerine, which was really nice, and then island papaya. Um, both of these were really nice. They are the, uh, this is the deep cleansing hand soap, and then this one was the creamy luxe hand soap with essential oils. So really enjoyed both of those. And then I did also finish off a pocket back. This was in unicorn water, which is magical mango. Uh, really liked all of those items from Bath and Body Works as well. Sort of along the same lines here um, as the pocket back. I didn't realize I had one of these in my empties, but um, this is the doTERRA On Guard Sanitizing Mist. So these I do like to to keep in my car in case I pump gas or you know get food to go or something. Um, I had forgotten that I did finish one of those off. Um, as for skincare, body care, that kind of thing, um, obviously this one was not necessarily used by me, but I thought it was cute and I thought I would go ahead and include it. This is the bubble bath that I use for my son. It is Paw Patrol um, and it's actually got a really nice scent to it. This says it is a light, fresh scent derived from nature. So it was a little sweet. Um, but not like super, super heavy. Definitely an artificial fragrance, but not really, really strong. Um, next I finished off a face wash. This is the Tula Probiotic Skin Care Purifying Face Cleanser. You guys saw this in Throwback 30 for almost an entire year. Um, I did really, really like this, but I got it in a FabFitFun and um, it's not something that I'm going to seek out because that was one of those where it was nice because I had it, but way too expensive for me to go out and, and you know, seek out on my own. I did finish off a doTERRA On Guard Natural Whitening Toothpaste. Um, I can't remember if this is the first tube of this that I've used or the second. I do really like it. It takes some getting used to. It's not like a minty um, flavor like you would be used to. It's got more of that clove in it, so it is a really unusual flavor. And I can't tell necessarily that it is whitening, so... Um, I have one going now and I've got a couple of backups, but um, I think I might end up trying um, my husband's uh, whitening toothpaste after I'm done with the, the tube that I'm on now. Next, I used up a Spa doTERRA Refreshing Body Wash. This is really nice. It's got like grapefruit and um, something. I can't remember the other scent, but it's it's really bright and it's really nice for um, using in the mornings. It's really awakening. And then the last skincare product is the Grace and Stella Anti Wrinkle Plus Energizing Eye Masks. So I used one of these masks in the first quarter and then I used the other seven in the second quarter. Um, so this whole box now is finished. All right, I missed another thing in here. Um, this is the doTERRA Essential Skin Care. Um, this is the anti-aging eye cream, 
and I did really like this. Um, I didn't necessarily notice like a massive improvement or change, but it does have one of these um, like roller balls on the end that stays cold and so that was really nice so like you pump this and it pumps up some product and then you just apply that to your under eyes I did feel that it was cooling and refreshing but like I said I didn't notice like a massive impact on my under eyes I did finish off two mascaras so one of them is the Bobbi Brown eye opening mascara really liked that one and then the Tarte um, lights camera lashes so really liked this one as well in the beginning it was really nice but it did dry out really quickly and I don't know if that's because this is just you know kind of like a deluxe size um, or if the full size dries out that quickly as well but I did notice that fairly quickly I'm talking like you know maybe three weeks into using it I did have like some black speckles um, that were just kind of shedding so uh, not something that I'm going to seek out to purchase on my own all right I finished off this little NARS um, pro prime smudge proof eyeshadow base this was a nice there wasn't just a whole ton of product in here but obviously it's just a deluxe size sample it was nice and I did like it but um, I feel like this is really expensive and so for what it is I feel like I can get a very similar product for a much smaller price so again not something I am going to seek out to purchase on my own Got a couple of little tubes here that I finished off. This one is the It Cosmetics um, Your Skin But Better CC Cream, and my shade is in medium. And this is, you know, obviously I'm gonna repurchase this. I'm already working on a new tube of it now. Um, same shade in medium, so I'm really, really hoping that I get some sun really soon because it does look, you know, a little bit orangey on me um, currently. Uh, and then this other little tube, this is the Seraphine Botanicals Sugar and Lemon Moisturizing Lip Buffer. Really, really liked this one as well, but it did take me a long time to go through that one. Just a couple more items here. We've got the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This was nice. I did find that I went through it really quickly. Um, and I will tell you this, initially when I started to use this, um, I didn't feel like it was working for me. And that's, I think, because I was using way too little product. I would just like, you know, ch -ch -ch a couple of quick sprays on my face and then go about my day. And I really felt like by the end of the day, I didn't have much left on my face. Um, and I have fairly normal skin. So I didn't feel like, you know, I was super oily and it was just breaking it down due to that or anything like that. I just couldn't figure out why I couldn't get this to work. Well, then I started using more of it and, you know, really giving it a good spray and, you know, kind of fanning myself to let it dry and hopefully really get in there. Um, and I did find that I had success using it that way. And I can't remember, I think it was, uh, I can't remember whose video that I was watching that said, you know, you really have to like let it dry and, you know, kind of encourage it to dry, like fan yourself or use a fan or something. Um, and that's really what kind of activates it and makes it really adhere to the product. So once I started doing that, um, that I did notice, a, you know, it was a big change um, and I did find some success with that uh, setting spray. I finished off, whoops, that's upside down. I finished off this um, little bag of premium pillow cotton pads. These are my very favorite ones. They're Ulta brand. I think they're $4.99 for $100. They're square or like kind of rectangly and they're really, really fluffy. Um, they say, you know, premium pillow for a reason. Love these. Um, I already have another bag on the go and when I make an Ulta order here in the next week or so, I'm going to pick up a backup so I'm never out of these. And then the last product that I finished off, guys, this is the Detox Dry Shampoo by Dry Bar. Obviously just a little trial size. I'll tell you what, I used to be one who thought that 
all dry shampoo was created equal and I just have to tell you that is not the case. I really, really liked this. Um, I've got a couple more of this brand but they're not the detox dry shampoo so I'm gonna kind of play around with those a little bit and see which one that I really prefer but um, I'm I'm almost a convert I am not quite ready to pull the trigger and spend this much money on a dry shampoo not when I love my Batiste as well you know but um, this is really good and if it were gifted to me or you know if I got another sample or something I would be more than happy to use it. So guys, that is everything that I have to share with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Leave me a comment down below. Here's what I want to know from you. You can tell me either one thing that you've used up so far this year that you are the most proud of, or tell me one thing that is on your goals list for, um, for you to use up for this year. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope you will stick around, stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye.